as I'm typing away frantically on my laptop to meet an impending deadline. I look up from the dull PowerPoint slides into the distance. Why am I feeling anxious from trying to meet this deadline? I don't even really care about this deliverable. I won't die if I never delivered. I would just ensure my monthly income calibrated at the precise amount just enough to support my lifestyle will persist. I look around. I'm surrounded by cramped desks and glossy yellow plastic walls. Damn, those glossy walls. When did my favorite yellow signifying joy and happiness turn into this dead mustard dread glossed over with cheap resin? As I watch my life literally slipping away with every single word I type, I'm reminded that only the grave is on mutual trajectory. Why am I working on these slides that I literally give zero fucks about? These slides that are not consequential enough for me to feel motivated, yet crucial enough for me to ensure my sustenance on this planet. Seemingly important enough for me to continue so as to remain a normal, white-collar individual respected as I rise through these constructed artificial ranks of corporate status. Am I wasting my life on Microsoft that is making me micro and soft? Bound by this capitalist conformity? Maybe Foucault is right. Maybe everything is analogous to a prison. We are damned to be governed even the most implicit of ways. We signed the social contract that we are too timid to opt out of. Did we get socialized so well that we are now imposing rules on ourselves? We're self-governing entities walking through life so well disciplined. The most insidious form of power and control is the least obvious and noticeable. They're conditioned notions that we have stopped questioning. We have curfew at work. We're expected to arrive between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. and get out of the office between 6 p.m. and 2 p.m. depending on how hard we are willing to sacrifice our lives for better appraisals and promotion guarantees. When we deviate from these expected hours and practices of having lunch at a desk to be efficient, we will be judged by the majority of the people at work even if no one really explicitly says anything. Everyone tells that it is an open workplace and people can work at their own pace without conforming to any strict timings. However, the reality is not so as everyone still has a standard corporate expectation towards everyone within the organization. And these people will turn extremely critical toward individuals that deviate from the norm. How can we really be at the top if we don't deviate from the mean of the normal distribution? We can't. So we have to escape the system. Discipline instilled into everyone within the system. We are analogous to prisoners and prison guards at the same time. When people's actions deviate from what is commonly accepted, the rest of the population will immediately show their disapproval, further enhancing the self-governing system in place. Order and discipline, the manifestation of the power of the sovereign, the agents in power. Hierarchical surveillance, judgment, and examination. These are the three key ingredients in maintaining power and control. This phenomenon does not confine itself to corporates, schools, or prisons. In corporates, Foucault's observation manifests in the following ways. The hierarchical surveillance of the team through reports, timing expectations, judgment, and appraisal by peers and superiors, and how well you correspond with corporate appraisal slash promotion criteria. When feedback from your peers show that your behavior or deliverable falls away from what's being expected by the company's central goals, you'll be reformed through performance management protocols. You'll follow the directions to change your behavior and output in the workplace as you think you should optimize your actions and words to put you in the best position for the next promotion. We're not just prisoners, but we're also prison guards at the same time. This three-step procedure of controlling human behavior is the dominant method of enforcing power and control within our modern-day society. 
as this form of power and control extends to almost every other organization and group, we have evolved into a self-governing obedience system. We can extend this concept to almost any organization, from schools to religious groups. I'm both the controlled rat and one of the contributors in maintaining this order and discipline. As I'm typing away frantically on my laptop to meet an impending deadline, I look up from the dull PowerPoint slice into the distance. I'm surrounded by beautiful yellow glossy walls. Damn those walls, yellow is my favorite. As I looked around at my colleagues, they seemed extremely enthusiastic about analyzing the client's data to resolve their cost issues. It is a project that can affect tens of thousands of people's lives and billions of dollars are involved. We're making such great impact in the business world. I feel energetic and fulfilled at work most days, and I can't wait to end work so I can be greeted by my lovely husband and daughters when I get home. They bring me so much joy, entertainment, and the occasional stress from the little tantrums. How blessed I am, I always remind myself. I have everything. A stable job, great pay, a sizable house, an understanding partner, and the most adorable daughters who are self-disciplined and hardworking, just like me. <laughs>